For men, we grow up being taught to be gentlemen. We are taught to respect our elders, to do service for others. We are taught to hold doors open for women. And despite how much we may hate it, we always let them go before us in line to get food. <laughs> but my question for all of you is, what has happened to the gentleman? Insider Magazine in 2016 published an article that listed the top 20 most uh, popular individuals in pop culture, and among those, I've listed the top six males. Now, I want to point out some points with some of the males that are listed on here. First, you can see that the first is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson most recently appeared in a remake of the 1990s hit series Baywatch, which is rated R for graphic language, nudity, crude sexual content, and violence. Drake is one of his most popular songs, lists uh, or has the F word in the chorus five times alone. And Ryan Reynolds is most commonly known for one of his famous films, Deadpool, which is, related, which is rated R for strong violence, language throughout, sexual content, and graphic nudity. Now my question for you all is, are these the kind of men you want teaching the boys and the men in your life how to comport themselves? Just like Bonnie Tyler, I ask you a similar question. Where have all the good, or in my case, where have all the gentlemen gone? <laughs> so what do you think of when you hear the word gentleman? Do you perhaps think of Cary Grant when he goes around in Hollywood, all classy with his British accent and wooing women? Do you perhaps think of an individual who sips champagne wearing a tuxedo or a man that sits using a cane even though he doesn't need it and a top hat? <laughs> Or perhaps do you think of the classic British gentleman who wears a bowler hat and tits it to all women when he says hi to them in the street, or a man that when he goes to the opera wears a cape? In the 1990 fil 1999 film Blast from the Past, it gives a simple but very eloquent definition of what is a gentleman. Let's watch. So I apologize for the volume, but what it said basically is that for gentlemen, the simple definition is someone that tries to make sure the people around him or her are as comfortable as possible. So what truly is a gentleman then? In Merriam-Webster's definition of what a gentleman is, it says the first definition is a man of gentle or noble birth, but I prefer the second definition, which is a man whose conduct conforms to the high standard of propriety or correct behavior. So what do people, how do people today define what a gentleman is? I conducted a survey on Facebook and I collected various uh, answers from some of my friends of what a gentleman is and this is what I got. I created a word bubble and here are some of the results that I got. Some is that a gentleman honors women. Others is that a gentleman is gracious, he shows kindness and respect to other individuals. It is a demonstration of how he is, it, how he shows in his behavior and in his actions. It is how he treats individuals like women or in all actuality, all individuals. And most importantly, a gentleman is a man. In a 2006 for me, um, some of the men that are that I consider gentlemen are my brothers and my dad. Now why I say that is because for them, they are not crass. They're always polite 
they show respect to all individuals, especially women, and especially to the wives and to their children. And they are protectors of those individuals. How can we be gentlemen? Elder D. Todd Christofferson, in a recent talk in 2006, gave a definition of how we can be gentlemen. Let's watch. So who is the ultimate example of a gentleman? Elder D. Todd Christofferson answered that question. The greatest example of a gentleman that we have is our Savior Jesus Christ. In, I want to reiterate one of the scriptures that he spoke of in his talk, and that is 3 Nephi 27, 27, and it says, Therefore, what manner of men ought ye to be? Verily I say unto you, even as I am. Now to be like the Savior, that is a lofty goal. And it's very difficult. It's something we cannot achieve within this life. But I pose a question to all of you. Is being a true gentleman, is that something that we really can achieve in this life? I suggest that being a gentleman and being Christ-like walk hand in hand, in my opinion. And that the qualities of a gentleman are similar to those of the qualities or the attributes of Christ. So, how can we then develop these attributes? Like I said, it's a lifelong pursuit to be like Christ. It's a lifelong pursuit to be a gentleman. So, I wish to issue a call to action of all of you. And that is to go online and to search the video, Christ-like Attributes, on LDS.org. When you search, it is the first link for the video. And to look at that and to think, what is it that I can do to be a gentleman? We couldn't watch because of the time constraints. But I want to thank you all for your time. And to, thank, po to um, pose the challenge to all of you to strive to be gentlemen. Thank you.